Hello everyone, welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus common interview questions on the topic of HVAC. So let's quickly get started. What is HVAC? HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning. It is a system that controls indoor climate conditions. Very important line which says controls indoor climate conditions because if you go to a mall, you can see a lot of AC ducts or you can see a heavy AC system installed in the mall that is controlled by no one but a HVAC engineer. What are the main components of an HVAC system? The main components include heating that is furnace or boiler, cooling, air conditioner or chiller and ventilation, air ducts, vents and fans. What is the function of a compressor? The compressor increases the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant before sending it to the condenser. So as you can see there is this refrigeration cycle given in the picture. The refrigeration cycle works by compressing and condensing a refrigerant then expanding and evaporating it to absorb heat. This continuous cycle transfers heat from one location to another and cooling the desired space. So this is how your refrigeration cycle works and how a compressor plays a very important role has been mentioned. What is the difference between a furnace and a heat pump? Very important question and people confuse themselves. So remember whenever the word generate comes, go with furnace and whenever the word transfer comes, go with heat pumps okay now what do i mean by this a furnace generates heat using gas oil or electricity while a heat pump transfers heat from outside to inside regions what is the sear rating in hvac so sear that is seasonal energy efficiency ratio measures the efficiency of an air conditioning unit a higher sear means better efficiency. So whenever you go to a mall or you are going to buy a new AC, do check out what the sear rating is given as so that you understand on what efficiency your air conditioning system is going to work. Okay. What is the main purpose of a thermostat in an HVAC system? A thermostat regulates the temperature by controlling the HVAC system, turning it on or off as per the set temperature. What is superheating in refrigeration? Superheating refers to the process where refrigerant vapor is heated beyond its boiling point at a given pressure to prevent liquid entry into the compressor. What is subcooling in refrigeration? Subcooling is the cooling of refrigerant below its condensation temperature ensuring that only liquid refrigerant enters the expansion valve. So these two terms that is superheating and subcooling are also important when you plot points on the psychrometric chart. So don't forget that you understand these prerequisites of the topic to gain better understanding of the entire HVAC questions. All right. What type of refrigerants are commonly used in HVAC systems. Common refrigerants include R22 phased out, R410A, eco-friendly R134A and R32. Now what are basically the refrigerants? Refrigerants are used to transfer heat from one location to another allowing for cooling and temperature control. They are essential in refrigeration systems, air conditioners and heat pumps to facilitate the cooling process. Why is R410A preferred over R22? R410A is more efficient and environmentally friendly with no ozone depletion potential and hence the reason of being more used. Okay. What is the function of an evaporator coil? The evaporator coil absorbs heat from the indoor air cooling it down as the refrigerant inside the coil evaporates. What is the function of a condenser in an HVAC system? Like we saw the refrigeration cycle and the use of it prior, but understand the major role played by the condenser as well. 
The condenser cools the high pressure refrigerant gas turning it into a liquid state to release heat outside. What is the function of an expansion valve? It reduces the pressure of the liquid refrigerant before entering the evaporator allowing it to absorb heat efficiently. What are the different types of compressors used in HVAC systems? Common types include reciprocating, rotary, scroll, screw and centrifugal compressors. What are the different types of air filters used in HVAC systems? Very important question again and many people are asked about this question in the interviews. You might also have to explain the working of the filters. All right. Types include HEPA filters, electrostatic filters, carbon filters and fiberglass filters. What is relative humidity and why is it important in HVAC? Relative humidity is the amount of moisture in the air compared to the maximum it can hold. Proper humidity levels 40 to 60 percent improve comfort and prevent mold growth. As you can see the relative humidity is represented in the glasses shown in the figure. So if you can see the difference between 0% relative humidity and 100% relative humidity. What is the purpose of ventilation in HVAC? Ventilation removes stale indoor air and replaces it with fresh air to improve the air quality. So whenever you go to a theater for watching movies, you might think that why do I not feel congested or suffocated? The reason being proper ventilation provided. Okay. What is the difference between mechanical and natural ventilation? Mechanical ventilation uses fans and ducts to circulate air which can be seen in theatres like I said. While natural ventilation relies on windows, vents and openings for air exchange. So natural ventilation can be seen in open ground. Okay. What is an air handler? An air handler regulates and distributes conditioned air throughout a building via ducts. What are common HVAC system problems? Issues include refrigerant leaks. You might see that in your refrigerator, clogged air filters, thermostat issues, electrical failures and dirty condenser coils. How often should HVAC filters be replaced? Typically every 1 to 3 months depending on usage and air quality and this is very important to follow. Okay. What are the signs of a failing compressor? Signs include warm air blowing from vents, loud noises, high energy bills and frequent tripping of the circuit breaker. The last three that is high energy bills, frequent tripping of the circuit and high noises are the real signs of a failing compressor that you can even realize without having a person to come and check that compressor okay so if you see any fluctuation in your energy bills or electricity bill know that it's your compressor that has caused some kind of a issue what causes hvac systems to freeze up causes include low refrigerant levels dirty air filters poor air flow and faulty thermostats again how do you prevent hvac system failure regular maintenance cleaning air filters checking refrigerant levels and ensuring proper air flow help prevent failures what are hvac safety precautions if you are going for an interview this is again a very important question turn off power before servicing wear ppe gloves goggles or mask follow manufacturer guidelines and avoid refrigerant leaks what is afue rating in heating systems afue rating that is annual fuel utilization efficiency indicates how efficiently a furnace converts fuel into heat okay what is an energy recovery ventilator erv ervs exchange stale indoor air with fresh outdoor air while recovering heat and humidity for better efficiency how can you improve hvac energy efficiency 
using programmable thermostats, sealing duct leaks, upgrading insulation and performing regular maintenance improve efficiency. But the first one holds the maximum importance that is using programmable thermostats which are widely used in the advanced technology used in the recent products. What is a VRF system? Variable refrigerant flow is a high efficiency system that adjusts refrigerant flow to different areas based on demand. What is demand control ventilation? DCV adjusts ventilation rates based on occupancy to optimize the energy use. Okay. So, mostly in offices, such kind of techniques are used to optimize the energy usage. How does geothermal HVAC work? Geothermal systems use the earth's stable underground temperature to heat or cool the buildings. What is a chiller and how does it work? A chiller removes heat from a liquid using vapor compression or absorption refrigeration to cool large buildings. You can again see the diagram mentioned. What is a building automation system BAS in HVAC? BAS integrates HVAC with other building controls for centralized monitoring and efficiency. What is the purpose of duct sealing? Duct sealing prevents air leaks, improving system efficiency and reducing energy costs. So you can learn all of this just by joining 30 plus mechanical engineering courses with a lifetime access and how to do this you just have to go to the gagehow.com website and become a gagehow premium member also if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe make sure you tell your friends about the video so that they also understand the interview questions better thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye